contact sheet and stuff, we got a hold of them and said, let's go block the WTO in Seattle. So we rent another convergence space, we organize food, we have our own pirate radio station in Seattle, and thousands of people go there. We have this uh, uh, campaign called Direct Action Network, where people organize affinity groups in their towns, and you mm -hmm. signed a nonviolence pledge for the action, and you practice uh, whatever your blockade technique was going to be. People like you know came as turtles and butterflies and stuff like that, and we actually shut the WTO down. And uh, right after that, we uh, get an email from this uh, reporter in Australia. She said she's been filming these Aboriginal people trying to stop a gold mine in the bush. And she said there was a group of uh, food not bombs that provided food at the base camp for uh, two years. Mm -hmm. And that this uh, Aboriginals had supported this other group called Earth First, and she wanted to come and film food not bombs, and she wanted to know if she, I knew anything about food not bombs. Mm -hmm. I said, I'd heard of it and everything. I'd be happy to help her out. I said, well, I'll fly over and interview you. I said, well, that's crazy. You should meet people that do food not bombs. So we went all over North America interviewing people that ate with Funa bombs and that would do Funa bombs and we even tried to interview some generals and stuff 